It's been a while since I did a YouTube video now and since last time we moved to a new place and uh, the batteries on the UTV have well last time we charged them it lost the UTV lasted like I don't know 10 minutes so something is up and uh, I've started to do a little bit of uh, fixing on them and I was thinking to make a video to show the progress and, and what I've done so far. So here is a view of the batteries that are in this this uh, UTV. It's those ones with a, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's with the liquid in them or water. And um, they were a bit low on water, so I have filled filled water in them. And uh, if I walk on over to the other side here, the UTV, then uh, you can see I've installed one of these uh, equalizers. So this one is connected to all the poles. I also brushed up the poles. They were a bit um, like corroded, I guess it's called. And I added some blue protection spray on them. So I wanted to compare all the voltages of all the batteries like this one side that now has the equalizer and the other side which does not have the equalizer yet. Well, if I turn this one on, put the key there, you can see the battery gauge hopefully. It says uh, 82. We've been using it just did, a, did a full charge and then a test test run with it so it's not fully charged but that's the state that it reports at least so back here I can measure the complete total voltage of both batteries so between the main and the main positive and negative and then we can see here if I get the light right there between 48.7 and 48.8 volts. And let's write that down. I drew a sketch of the battery setup and just write down here the total, which is 48.8 volts for the whole package. And then I can go over the individual cells and see what they are like. This is the balanced side of the batteries. So if I just measure down here I can see 12.24 on the first one there I measured all the cells on the side that is balanced and they are 48.96 volts altogether so I'm not sure why the deviation there to 48.8 but yeah they're fairly balanced at least that's the important part. Now let's do the other side. And here I added up the cells on the other side. You can see this one is uh, okay. This one is a bit high and these ones are a bit low. So these are the unbalanced ones. Uh, they still sum up to the same voltage. 48.95 on this side and this side. Which makes sense since they're connected in, in parallel. That was it for this round. Now I will connect the balancer on the other side, make sure they all have the correct fluid level and uh, fully charge it and see, see how that goes. I'll be back. Some days have passed and the balancer has been connected to the batteries here. So let's do a measurement and see if I, I already hooked up one probe here. I'll do the other one on the other side. And then it says 12.24, which is exactly where we want to land. Let me do the other batteries and write them up. And there we have them. All the batteries are measured up. And as you can see, they're now all fairly close in the blue text, like before and after the balancer was put in. So I highly recommend putting in a 
balancer or equalizer or yeah, whatever they're called. And that's it for this time.